Hi, I am Mukul and welcome to Chess Sincere Videos. Today I am back with another spectacular game played by Rashid Nejmantinov. This is the game played between Rashid Nejmantinov and P. Armolin, a game from Kazan Championship played in 1946. Rashid had white pieces and he started with e4, c5, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3. All the standard moves. g6, the dragon variation. Rashid is in a very attacking mood and he decided to play sharp chess from this move onwards till the till this game ended f4 bishop to g7 e5 attacking the knight d takes on e5 f takes on e5 knight to d5 bishop to b5 check king to f8 was played let's take this back what happens if bishop to d7 then white simply wins the knight so king to f8 was played rashid castled kingside aligning the rook with the black king bishop takes pawn on e5 and now rashid spotted a great square for his bishop he saw that black dark square bishop is no longer on g7 and decided to develop his dark square bishop with a tempo check king to g8 knight takes knight queen takes knight attacking the bishop what is the best square for the bishop or what is the best move in this position please pause the video and try to find the killer move are you ready Rashid touched his knight and casted a spell on that knight which transformed this knight into a magic knight knight to f5 was played This knight is no ordinary knight. Mark my words. This is a monster knight. This knight will give black king nightmares. Queen to c5 check was played. Let's go back. What happens if queen takes bishop? Then knight takes on e7. Checkmate. And wh what happens if the monster knight is killed then black loses the queen so in order to survive the attack queen to c5 check was played bishop to e3 blocking and attacking the queen queen to c7 let's see what happens if the bishop is captured queen to d8 check queen to e8 queen takes queen checkmate so to prevent white queen from coming to d8 square queen to c7 was played Rashid touched his magic knight for the last time and black resigned can you see the move knight to h6 check i told you this is no ordinary knight but a magic knight why did black resign if king to f8 then rook takes on f7 checkmate and if king goes to g7 then still rook takes on f7 checkmate what a brilliant attack by Rashid Nejmantinov and all this started at move 13 this was the position and knight to f5 was played 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.